In the final video of our Getting Started series, we will look at how to access results from your simulation. You can access results for any object by either clicking on the Results button in the Properties tab, or you can also use the Results Manager on the Home tab. The Results Manager is a central location where you can collect and analyze results from across your simulation. By default, the average time that work items spent in the simulation is displayed, but you can add a wide range of other KPIs. For example, let's add the number of work items that entered the simulation. From the start point, hover over the result until you see the cursor show the letter R, and then right-click this result has now been added to our Results Manager. You can add results from any object, but we'd recommend taking a less is more approach. Simulate's analysis tools are designed to really focus on the KPIs that will help you to make decisions. When analyzing your results, it's important to run the simulation more than once. Simulations incorporate day-to-day -day variability just like real life. If we only ran a single week of our bank, the results could be from a good week or a bad week. We have no way of knowing the average results unless we run the simulation multiple times. You can set Simulate to automatically do this by using the trial feature. To access this, go to the Home tab and click the Run Trial button. Running a trial will greatly improve the accuracy of your results. You can see here that our results are now displayed as confidence intervals rather than just single numbers. For the ATM exit point, the average time and system was between 10 minutes and close to 11 minutes with the average result being 10 minutes. To find out more about running trials, check out our help files. In the last few videos, we've been building up a simulation of a small local bank. Due to increased demand, our bank is now expanding. You can see that we've added additional ATMs, tellers, and mortgage advisors to the simulation. But before we invest in expanding our bank, we want to be sure that our customers won't be waiting too long. Once we run the simulation, we can check how much time each customer spends in the bank. For each process, we can add the average time and system for each endpoint to our results manager. On average, those that go to ATMs are in the bank for close to five and a half minutes. Those that see tellers are in for 16 minutes. And those that are seeing mortgage advisors are there just over one and a half hours. To reduce the time it takes for customers to see a mortgage advisor, we could look at changing the number of advisors that are available throughout the day. So a little homework for you, why not try making changes to the resources appointment times and arrival schedule to see what else might have the biggest impact on reducing customer waiting times. Finally, you can also view results in real time. If you want to display results on screen, you can use one of Simulate's built-in object charts. You can access these by clicking on an object and then the results section of the ribbon. Then you can select the chart you want to display. We'll add a chart of the timing system for customers seeing a teller. You can see that as we run the simulation, the chart updates in real time. We've also added a table that shows the average waiting times for each service without having to open any results dialogs. These charts, along with a simple floor plan image we've added to the simulation can help your stakeholders to quickly understand the process and results. You can find out how to add charts, tables, and images to your simulation by visiting our help files. We hope you've enjoyed this Getting Started series and you're ready to begin building your own simulations. If you need any other help, check out our support portal or get in touch by emailing support at simulate.com.